1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has enabled me because he has counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. So at this time, Paul is talking about his calling and the ministry that God has given to him. And he offers thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ for his calling and, and the ministry that he has been entrusted with. But the Lord did not only entrust uh, Paul with the ministry, but he also enabled him. Uh, the apostles saw Christ as the source of his strength uh, in the Christian walk and in the ministry uh, that had been given to him. The ministry of Paul was a very remarkable one. There were signs, there were wonders, there were healings. Uh, even some dead uh, was raised uh, back from the dead. And, and so he had a great ministry and he had so much knowledge about the mysteries of Christ and he shared it freely with us. But he considered all of that as an enablement of the Holy Spirit. He doesn't give credit to his rabbinical training, and he had a very good training. Uh, neither did he uh, see it as eloquence or oratory, but Paul uh, just saw Christ as the enabler of all that he did. And that's a very important uh, indicator for us that we may have gifts and we may have abilities and we may have strengths that enable us to do things. And many times we want to give those things the credit for what uh, we have achieved in life. We want to say, well, I'm a very meticulous person. I work hard and, and it's good to do all of that. But as Christians, at the end of the day, we cast all our crowns before the Lord and we credit him for the enablement and for the ability and for the gifts that we have. And that's what Paul is doing now. I thank God who has enabled me. The other thing Paul says in this uh, verse, verse 12, he said, because he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Paul was faithful uh, in ministry and so he touches on faithfulness as important in the work that God has called us to do, not only in preaching, but in every area of our lives. Faithfulness is being committed to what you have and doing it well to meet the expectation of the one who has committed the thing to you. So if God gives us a gift, we have to be faithful. We have to be good stewards of it. And Jesus taught that faithfulness... Um, Starts with little things, uh, faithfulness in your time, faithfulness in, uh, in the way you manage money, faithfulness in relationships. And if you are faithful in little, Jesus says you'll be faithful in much. And Paul is saying God counted him faithful. In other words, he didn't start with all the grand things that he had achieved. He started very little and at every point he committed himself, he was convinced about what he was doing, he gave all his heart to it, and as he did that, God committed more and more uh, to him. Uh, even as an ignorant unbeliever, Paul was a very committed person to, to the things that are being given to him, and he went to uh, extremes with it, but uh, God graciously saved him. But the important thing is, if we're going to do the things that God wants us to do, we have to be faithful. We have to handle the resources he gives us very well and account for them very well so that he can give far more into our hands. And I pray that God will give all of us the ability to be faithful so he can enable us more and more to do his work and to fulfill our destiny. Let's share a word of prayer. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace that enables me. Help me to faithfully serve my generation. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And may the Lord find each one of us faithful uh, in the service that he has called us to. I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom. Peace and life to you.